where do you get that resiliency in a portfolio in a world of sell everything except maybe energy so far this year? Well, I think that's right. I think you know you do need to keep those inflation hedges on in your portfolio, but you're also looking across your portfolio, both at equities, credit, as well as broader fixed income, and looking for assets that you think can perform well in risk-off environments and more recessionary environments. And I think there are pockets of the equity market that will do well. Healthcare is a sector that you know we've talked about, but is something that's underperformed. You know, certainly, um, you know, over the last year or so, and still offers good value to investors and should you know be resilient in a downturn I also think that there are you know good credits in IG that are starting to look really attractive just given how much you spread widening you've seen year to date but I would really stick to those you know that are money good that have free cash flow generation and that you think can withstand a hit to nominal GDP um, and it can still do well and outperform so there are pockets of opportunity you just have to dig a lot deeper than you know just buying pure base in the market. Erin, you said keep those bets on inflation on. Can you help me understand whether you can have a bet on both inflation and decelerating economic growth? Absolutely. I mean, firstly, going into recessions, typically recessionary, you know, in recessionary environments, inflation tends to be the last shoe to drop. And so inflation tends to have long legs late in late cycle environments. That said, we're also in a really unique environment right now where it's not demand that's driving inflation, but it's really supply constraints. And so I think that you look for those pockets that are supply constrained, whether it be agricultural commodities or you know, hard commodities like oil that you think still offer value, maybe not in the spot rates, but if you look out, you know, and think that this is going to be a more protracted inflationary cycle, there is real opportunity still to take advantage of, you know, market pricing. And I, and I do think that inflation can continue to do well in this environment, you know, maybe not broad based, but certainly in certain pockets where there's supply constraints.